Today we are back with a FS19 mod review. We will be taking a look at a variety of mods. All of the mods are public and links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we'll be taking a look here at Chevy K30 Bale Loader. In this store can be found under the cars category. It is a 1979 Chevy K30, starts at just over $31,000. Now the bed of this truck is a bale loader, which I will be showcasing, but let's first take a look here at all of the options. The flatbed's color change will the main cab, the stripe, and the rims. You could get a few different uh, paint schemes for it as well. Could get a few side steps, a few different brand decals, a plow mount, and uh, the options continue on. A few different license plates, and finally a few different engine options and wheels. As we take a closer walk around, you guys can see this is one sweet truck. This does have a bale loader here, which is pretty cool. These arms do come up, and it will actually lift a bale or two up onto the flatbed, which is pretty neat. I really do like this bed, though, you guys can see awesome textures, very high quality. Once we hop here on the inside, it has a top speed of 75 miles per hour. All the lights here on it do work and a few extra custom lights there as well and you do have those extra work lights front and back. On the first person view you do have working mirrors, working steering wheel and gauges. It's a very done on the inside. I'm excited to be back here with the FS19 mod review. Lately there haven't been too many mods coming out, hopefully more and more do uh, come out. I really do like those brake lights up there on the flatbed uh, headache rack area, that's pretty neat. While we are driving, let's take a quick look. When you do press X, it does come out, and uh, then with mouse controls, you could actually kind of rotate it around there. That's pretty cool, and you could bring it closer to get any smaller bales. Overall, it's one pretty neat truck. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a crew cab flatbed. In the store can be found under the cars category. It has a starting price of $36,000, 102 horsepower, and a top speed of 74 miles per hour. The cab is color changeable along with the bed, but you have galvanized or stainless steel there. You do have a few different beacon light options, ramps for the bed, and a few different engine options. Now this truck here is found on the official website which is pretty cool. Not only is this a flatbed but you could put grain in the back. This is very nice. It does have a pretty long wheelbase as well. Once we hop here on the inside top speed is 75 miles per hour. All of those lights do work. The two beacon lights on the interior. It's very nicely done. A ton of detail. This thing does look pretty cool. It's actually a six seater uh, which is pretty neat. When you do press X, uh, these sides come off, the ramps go on. Really do like those ramps. Those are pretty nice quality metal ramps, and we do also have straps. Overall, it's one pretty neat truck here. Very interesting cab, but I really do like all of the features. Up next, we will be taking a look here at an international day cab semi. It can be found under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $22,000, it's a 1989 IH Eagle 9300, it is a bit older, but I really do like it with 650 horsepower. It is color changeable, here's some pretty cool logos and uh, paint schemes you can do. As we take a full walk around up front you guys can see a lot of chrome, really do like the stacked headlights uh, with the uh, turn signal up above, that does look pretty cool, really do like the red on those wheels and it's a very nice older truck. Has a top speed 104 uh, miles per hour, all the lights do work here on it, really do like those exhausts, simple but uh, pretty neat and on the first person view working gauges, working steering wheel and mirrors. This thing does look pretty cool, really am excited for this, I really want to get more older equipment uh, uh, in the game, especially older semi trucks like this one. This truck looks amazing. 
Up next, we will be taking a look here at a Freightliner Cascadia Day Cab Semi. In the store can be found under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $127,000 and it's a day cab glider uh, which is pretty cool. 400 horsepower with a ton of new uh, paint colors here which is pretty cool. Really do like this one here and you could get a rack in the back with beacons. Uh, without beacons you could get the chrome or the color match, a few different engine options and a few extra exhaust and you could actually upgrade the wheels. As we take a full walk around you guys and see very high quality truck. I really do like the chrome covers on the mirror caps. That does look pretty cool. And this does I believe have uh, some uh, pieces chrome, some color. Really do like that. It's a nice balance. I also really do like those wheels. Once we hop here on the inside top speed at 93 miles per hour. All the lights do work here on it. We actually do have uh, digital speedometer working gauges and a uh, steering wheel. It is pretty uh, nicely done. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been very busy with schoolwork, but I'm excited to be back here making videos. This is a great hobby for me, and I appreciate all the support. This upcoming week, we will be doing a new mini series. It probably will be a two to three uh, episode series, uh, probably starting tomorrow or the day after. I really do like this. The handling is pretty good. Just the steering is sharp as well. And it does have some great engine sounds. Up next, we will be taking a look here at an old Chevy C70 log truck. This can be found under the truck category. $2,500 here for it. It is color changeable. The basic color is 200 horsepower and you could get uh, mud flaps in the back. I really do like this older, simple truck, especially for logging. I would prefer to use one of these to go out on the trails instead of a brand new expensive truck. It's a pretty simple truck. I actually have done reviews on uh, the uh, C70 uh, before, but this is pretty cool, and it's a very similar to the other ones. Great job, though, uh, on it. And we do have a few straps there as well uh, to uh, tie down. Up next, we will be looking at a Boss Snowplow. This is for the skid steers, the front loaders, and I believe the wheel loaders. It can be found under the mess category. It's a Bobcat Skid Sear, $800. It has a max plow speed of 15 miles per hour. It is color changeable here, and it does have wings. And you can also do the uh, stainless steel there, which is pretty cool, and a few of the other ones. Really do like it. Just look at the quality here on the back with the springs. That does look pretty cool. And this is just a base in-game Skid Sear. I just wanted to kind of showcase uh, that back and forth there, and it does also have a collision. Up next, we will be taking a look here at two old Ford tractors. They are both Ford 9600s, but a bit different at the same time. In this store, they can be found under the medium tractor category. They have a starting price of uh, $7,300 and $17,000. Very similar options between the two front loader, uh, front weight, single uh, on that one. And let's check this one. So very similar. You could get the cap. And really do like it a lot. So pretty cool, very detailed, and I, I really want to see more of these old Ford tractors in the game. On the inside, we do have working everything. I, I really want to see these out in the farm field. And this coming summer, we will be revamping a farming series for the channel. Last up here, we'll be taking a look here at a lot of placeable objects. We'll first look at them all in the store. Under miscellaneous, we do have the tool trolley from Stanley for $750, which is a placeable. Well, the soccer field under decorations, we do have nothing. Under farmhouse, we have two farmhouses, one with a fence and trees, one just with a house. And under animal pens, we do also have a metal chicken coop. First, here is a tool cart. Really do like it. Look at the quality of this. And you could actually walk up to it and repair vehicles, which is awesome. Really do like that you cannot see uh, the kind of floating uh, circle uh, as well. 
Up next, we'll be taking a look here at the big chicken coop. Really do like it a lot, and I, I really do like this fence here. It's a pretty cool fence, uh, very realistic, and there's a lot, a lot of room for the chickens to go and a little shed to go along with it. Up next, we have the soccer field back here with a soccer ball as well. This is pretty cool. You can't pick it up uh, by hand, but you could hit it with vehicles, and that would be pretty cool to do a multiplayer game. I think that would be a lot of fun. Last up, we'll be taking a look here at the farmhouse. You guys can see some pretty cool detail out front. Let's head in the door over here. You guys can see a bedroom, a ton of detail, a ton of objects, a paintings on the wall. It's just so, so cool. Some of those doors don't open up. Next, we have a kitchen area. We have a working slotting door, a nice flat screen on the wall. Look at that flat screen. That is pretty cool. Over here we do have the garage here, a few things in it, probably one car garage at best, uh, maybe a small pickup truck could probably fit. I hope everyone enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.